I'm Bambi Francisco, Market Watch. We'll move over Google. There's another verb in town. College students across the country are, quote, Facebooking their classmates to connect with them or just get more information about them. The Facebook was launched in February 2004 as a student directory. Today, the Facebook has nearly 5 million users across 1,500 campuses. Joining me to talk about the fast-growing company is the founder and CEO, Mark Zuckerberg. Mark, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Mark, this is such a fast-growing company. Can you tell us what was the biggest factor behind the success? Was it a strategic decision you made, or was it you were just lucky? Well, I think it's probably a little bit of both. But I think that some decisions that we made early on to localize the, the website and keep it separate for each college on the network kept it really useful because people could only see people from their local college and friends outside. Mm -hmm. That made it so people were comfortable sharing information that they probably wouldn't otherwise, which made it useful in the long term for people to look up information about other people on the site. So you made it very localized, like very, Harvard. It was all mm -hmm. about Harvard and yeah. other schools. It's all about other schools. Okay, what are what is the makeup of the, the user base? Are they currently in college? And also, yeah. what are they doing on the site? So. I'd say that the majority of the user base is currently in college. We were live last year too, so we had a whole year of people who graduated. I think that was almost a million people. But um, they still come back and use the site pretty regularly. I think what people do when they're on the site is a few things. One is, as you said, look people up and just find information about people, which is actually a pretty decent resource to find stuff because people feel comfortable sharing. Mm -hmm. And another is also what you said just connecting to people and finding people they haven't seen in a long time, friends from middle school or high school or long lost buddies and just reaching out to them. Okay. Well, you received venture capital funding mm -hmm. uh, and you received about $13 million. What was the pitch to VCs? Oh, we didn't do any pitch. <laughs> no? They <laughs> but, just went up to you? They um, just approached you? Yeah. I mean, we talked to a few people, but I wouldn't say that I prepared anything formal for that. I don't know. I mean, I think that the the attractive component of this mm -hmm. was probably that the base was so localized and that we could target stuff and provide functionality for users on such a granular level. Mm -hmm. So um, people from Harvard can get specific stuff, both functionality and, I guess, advertising that's targeted to people at Harvard. And we have so much data about what people are doing on the site and how people are using it that it just makes it so that we can really enhance the experience and mm -hmm. target stuff towards those people in ways that no one else has really been able to do before. Can you talk about some ways that you're doing that? And I guess advertising is the model? Um, advertising is the model, but I don't think we've arrived at what the final advertising solution is going to be. So right now, we're more focused on just building out the site and building features and I mean, right now, almost 70% of our users come back every day, which is kind of ridiculous. And I mean, if we can keep that up for any period of time, mm -hmm. then that's awesome. You know, and I don't necessarily expect to be able to keep that up permanently, but I mean, if we can keep that going, mm -hmm. then that's really good. Mm -hmm. So that's and the focus now. 70% of all your users are, are going mm -hmm. back daily, every day, yeah. or, or go, logging on twice a day. I don't know how many times they're logging on. How long are they staying? Well, I think the Comscore numbers just came out for this month, and mm -hmm. I think well, we you had like, about eight million unique visitors. I saw. That. Well, I think that the time spent on the site was just around the highest on the internet. But I, I think mean, so. higher yeah. than MySpace, I believe. I don't swear by those numbers. I don't know, but yeah. It's a, it's a good number to have. It's good to have them spend <laughs> time spend, spend time on your site now. Just. MySpace, mm -hmm. since um, since I guess I brought it up. Now, people, a lot of investors uh, view your companies as uh, rivals, mm -hmm. uh, competing with each other. Um, are you? Can you work with MySpace? Are you complementary? Are you? Will you know? Will your users graduate from mm -hmm. uh, the Facebook to MySpace, or will they graduate from MySpace to the Facebook, or are they? Well, I think that there's, there might be a little of both, but I think it's really unclear what's going to happen right now. I mean, I think that a lot of people view us as competitors, but I think that a lot of people use both sites, and a lot of people switch between them somewhat interchangeably. And I mean, they're both growing really quickly, and it's unclear where it's going to go. I know that right now, the core demographics on each of the two sites is, are somewhat different. Mm -hmm. So we have this huge base of college students, whereas 
they're probably stronger in the high school market and outside of college, mm -hmm. but we're also growing in our high school product, which we just launched, which is growing really quickly, and I think that they're probably trying to get some college students to sign up for theirs as well. So, I mean, it's unclear what's going to happen. My guess is that if everyone is on one of these two, but they're not on the same one, then combining them could make a really valuable asset. Uh -huh. But I think that in the meantime, we're both trying to just figure out what's going on. Okay, last question I have to ask you. Dropped out of Harvard last year, so how old are you? When are you going back to school? Well, that's unclear. I am 21, but I finished my sophomore year and came out to Palo Alto, fully expecting that I'd actually go back to Harvard in the fall, but didn't quite make it after Peter put his money in. But um, <laughs> we started building a company instead, and you know, got a little sidetracked. But fortunately, Harvard lets you take indefinite periods of time off. Yeah. So you know, if this ever falls through, I'm back at Harvard. <laughs> okay, I doubt it'll fall through, and that was Peter Thiel that put money in your company, yeah. right? Okay. Mark, we're going to have to wrap it up there, but um, good luck with your company. Thanks. I've been speaking with Mark Zuckerberg. He's the founder and CEO of the Facebook. I'm Bambi Francisco, Market Watch.